Hey everybody, welcome back to Brainiac Baseball's 1981 Detroit Tigers season replay. Today's matchup is between the Milwaukee Brewers and the Detroit Tigers at Tiger Stadium. On the mound for the Brewers is Jaime Kokenauer, whose record is 6-4 with a 4.07 ERA. And pitching today for the Tigers is Jack Morris, whose record is 4-3 with a 4.83 ERA. And so we won the first game of the three-game series here in Detroit against the Brew Crew. We won 8-3, and uh, it was a pretty solid game all around. Uh, we tried to give Bruce Robbins a uh, opportunity at a complete game shutout, but in the eighth inning, Marshall Edwards hits a uh, two-run shot off of him, and we yanked him out of there. And then uh, Dave Tobik gave up a run in the ninth. And so we've made some changes to our bullpen which we're going to take a look at here uh, momentarily. Let's go ahead and get today's game uh, started. I appreciate everyone following along. Like and subscribe if you enjoy this content. We're at game 66. We're well beyond the halfway point now. And um, we are, we have, we've won four in a row and we've only gained a half a game. We're nine back still. So I don't feel too great about our chances, but uh, it's never over until you're officially eliminated. So... Um, we're going to keep our fingers crossed. Take a look here. Here's our bullpen. Everybody is available. And um, I called back up Dave Patterson, who uh, wasn't very successful in his last um, stint with the big club here. But we're going to give him another opportunity to pitch uh, because uh, Roger Weaver did get injured for four days. So uh, Patterson is going to fill that role. And then we've brought up Tom Filer, who uh, we got in um, – uh, from the Cubbies in the deal where we sent uh, Wayne Gross and Dave Stegman names that we've already forgotten about, right? Um, Wayne Gross was our supposed everyday third baseman, uh, but he uh, was terrible right out of the gate, and uh, we shipped him off. And so Filer's going to be in the bullpen, and he might actually uh, vie for a, uh, a, 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 a place in the rotation. Okay, and then uh, here's our lineup today against the righty Jaime Kokenauer. We went ahead and threw uh, Bobby Ramos back in there at catcher. It's hard to keep him out of the lineup uh, with his 517 batting average and um, the fact that he's been incredibly clutch, too, you know. So we'll see how that works today. Let's go ahead and do the um, Milwaukee Brewers lineup rundown. Batting leadoff and playing third base is Tim Nordbrook. Batting second at shortstop is Ed Romero. Batting third at second base is Paul Molitor. Batting cleanup at first base is Jim Pachorik. Batting fifth in center field is Chet Lemon. Batting sixth in DHing is Cecil Cooper. Batting 7th and catching is Dave Sachs. Batting 8th and in right field is Larry Heisel. And batting ninth in left field is Dick Davis. And on the mound for Detroit is Jack Morris. Uh, he's been a mixed bag of late, making his uh, 14th start. He's 4-3 with that 4.83 ERA. 41 walks, almost uh, as many as he threw all of last year. And those 46 strikeouts are pretty low. If you take a look here at his game log, um, yeah, really, what is that? Five out of the last six starts have not been good. So he is due for a good game, and um, our last four uh, outings for our starting pitchers have been pretty solid, so he's due. Let's see what uh, Jack has in store for us today. Here's uh, Tim Nordbrook leading off against Jack. And Nordbrook pops it up on the infield. Sweet Lou makes the play. One down. Next up is Ed Romero. Romero, ground ball back to Jack. And there's the second out. Next up, Paul Molitor, Hall of Famer. Was not in yesterday's game. And Molitor hits it right back to Morris as well. And a quick 1-2-3 inning. We go to the bottom of the first. No score. Here is the Tigers lineup for today. 
Batting leadoff and in center field is Ricky Henderson. Batting second at second base is Sweet Lou Whitaker. Batting third in left field is Kirk Gibson. Batting cleanup and playing shortstop is Alan Trammell. Batting fifth at first base is Jason Thompson. Batting sixth in right field is Gary Hancock. Batting seventh and DHing is Reggie Jackson. Batting eighth at third base is Tom Brookins. And batting ninth and catching today is Bobby Ramos. Jaime Kokenauer on the mound for the Brew Crew, making his 15th start of the season. Six and four of that 407 ERA, certainly an improvement over his rookie year last year. Uh, definitely um, a bad uh, walk to strikeout ratio 48 walks, 36 Ks. Uh, more of the same from last season. Opponents are only batting 243 against him this year, and he has a complete game, which was a shutout. So here is uh, Ricky Henderson leading off against Jaime Kokenauer. Ground ball to first. And Pechorek makes the play, one down. It's going to bring up Sweet Lou. High curveball. Whitaker swings and hits a fly ball to right field. That's two down. It's going to leave it up to Kirk Gibson. And Gibby hits a ground ball to second and a 1-2-3 inning. So we go to the top of the second inning. Jim Pechorek leading off against Morris. And Morris strikes out Pechorek. There's one down. That's going to bring up Chet Lemon. We mentioned uh, Lemon was traded over to Milwaukee uh, before yesterday's game. And so this is our first time seeing him. I wanted to mention that in... Um, Doing a little research for today's game, I found a newspaper article, uh, the, uh, the article in which um, Steve Kemp was traded from Detroit to the White Sox for Chet Lemon. And this article was just a scathing uh, report on uh, the Tigers making this so-called horrific trade, uh, getting rid of uh, Kemp to the White Sox for Chet Lemon. Apparently, Kemp had just um, won an arbitration hearing because this, this happened in November of 81, so long after this season is over with. And so uh, Kemp had won an arbitration for uh, $600,000, and that was kind of a bit of money uh, back then. But um, it was widely considered that Lemon was still, I'm sorry, uh, Kemp was still a much better player than Chet Lemon. And so that trade was made, and the fans were in an uproar. And, uh, of course... Now we know Chet Lemon was an integral part of the Tigers winning the 84 World Series. He played nine years for Detroit and was a great defensive center fielder and um, hit over 20 home runs a couple of times. It was really, uh, you know, an important piece uh, for that era for Detroit. And one of my favorite players, Kemp basically had his last good year in 82, and by 86 he was out of baseball. So in retrospect, turned out to be a really great deal. Uh, for Detroit, but in the moment, um, well, kind of an overreaction to that deal. And uh, I think if you were to ask most people now, everyone would take uh, Chet Lemon over Steve Kemp. Lemon uh, flies out to left, and then uh, Cecil Cooper pops it up to Trammell at short. And we go to the bottom of the second inning. Here's Trammell leading off. Trammell's got two home runs against Kokenauer. And here he grounds out to second. Molitor makes the play, one down. Next up is JT. Thompson walks. That's the first walk for Jaime Kokenauer. Runner on first. Here's Gary Hancock. He's got a home run against Jaime. There's an infield single. First Tigers hit, first hit for anyone in the game today. First and second. Now, here's Reggie. Reggie had a two-hit game yesterday, uh, including a double and a triple. Oh, boy. Ground ball to short. And uh, they cannot turn two. Everybody moves up. So runners on second and third for Tom Brookins, batting 254 versus righties. 
and it's really our everyday third baseman, and there's a triple into right center field, and he knocks in the first two runs of the game. So Brooklyn stepping up, two-run triple, and here's Bobby Ramos. This guy's been amazing. Ground ball to third, and uh, there is the third out of the inning. So the Tigers get the early lead, two to nothing. We go to the top of the third inning. Here's Dave Sachs leading off with a ground ball back to Morris. That is three um, assists by Morris already today. One down. Here's Larry Heisel. Heisel strikes out. Two Ks now for Morris. It's going to leave it up to Dick Davis. Ground ball base hit past Brookins. There's the first hit for the Brew Crew. I don't know why, but in every um, variation that I've played of uh, Baseball Mogul, Dick Davis is always really good. Okay, there's a walk by Morris, walking uh, Tim Nordbrook. So first and second now for Ed Romero. And Romero pops it up. Looks like it's going to carry to left field, and Gibby makes the play. So no harm done. We go to the bottom of the third. Ricky Henderson leading off. Ground ball snagged by the shortstop Romero. And he tosses out Henderson. There's one down. Next up is Sweet Lou. And Whitaker walks. Second walk for Kokenauer. So runner on first. We're going to let Gibby swing away. He hits a high fly ball to right. And Davis makes the play. Um, I was thinking about having Whitaker attempt to steal, but I think we're going to let Trammell swing away. And he bloops it into left. Caught by the left fielder, Davis. Oh, Heisel's in right. That's my bad. Um, it was confusing seeing that 99 defensive rating out there for Dick Davis. Was he that good of a defensive player? I, I don't remember. At any rate, we go to the top of the fourth with Paul Molitor leading off. Ground ball is short. There's one down. And that's funny that Molitor hits the ground ball to uh, Trammell. They're on the same rookie card um, in the 1978 series. Um, both listed as shortstops at the time. As Morris strikes out Jim Pachorek. There's two down. Here's Chet Lemon, 0 for 8 against Morris. Oh, that falls in. I thought that was going to be a line out. But Henderson not only does not make the catch... But, oh, it's not even Henderson. It was actually Gary Hancock who um, boots it and allows Lemon to get to third. So runner on third, here's Cecil Cooper. And Cooper strikes out looking. So we go to the bottom of the fourth. Still 2 nothing Detroit. Here's JT leading off. And a base hit for Thompson. Slowly creeping his average back up. It's at 235 overall right now. Next up is Gary Hancock. He got the first hit of the game. There's a ground ball to second. And a double play. So the error by Hancock and then the double play. Not great. Reggie still does not have a home run as a Tiger. But he's got himself a, a bleeder in the left center field. Do we want to go for two? We're going to say no. You don't run on uh, Chet Lemon. So Reggie's got the uh, fourth hit today for the Tigers. And then Tommy Brookins had that two RBI triple. Pops out onto the uh, outfield grass. And Molitor makes the play. So we're going to the top of the fifth. Dave Sachs leading off against Jack. Sachs bloops it into center. Caught by Henderson. One down. Next up, Larry Heisel, 7 for 11 with three Ks against Morris. Wow, Morris gets him again. Five strikeouts for, for Jack. So two down for Dick Davis. And Davis pops it up. 
Tramble makes the play. Take a quick look at Dick Davis out of curiosity. 99 in left and 99 at first base. What? Um, I mean, he's never even played first base. Well, I guess he did in 1980 and a couple games this year. So uh, I don't know what makes him so special defensively, but um, there you go. So we go to the uh, bottom of the fifth. Here is Bobby Ramos leading off. He walks. So Ramos is on base once again. Runner on first. Nobody out for Ricky. Ground ball the second. And another double play. All right. So two down for Sweet Lou. There's a base hit to left. Whitaker on first for Kirk Gibson, who's 0 for 2 on the day. Base hit to center field. Yep, falls in in front of the center fielder. And uh, there's already two outs. We're not going to risk having the uh, third out at third. We're going to give Trammell a chance here. Trammell having a career year. And there you go. Three run Jimmy Jack to left field, and it's 5 nothing Detroit. Trammell's 12th home run of the season, and maybe a serious MVP consideration, even though he's going to be on a team that's probably going to finish under 500, especially since um, we have uh, designs to trade uh, Jason Thompson in his walk year. And so t uh, JT pops up to short. We go to the sixth inning. Let's take a look at the uh, in-game stats. Player of the game so far? I guess you have to give it to Jack. Throwing a two-hitter through five. Here's Tim Norbrook. Oh, he wears one right in the ribs. So the leadoff batter is on first. Here's Ed Romero. Ground ball to Trammell. It's turn two. Oh, they just get the lead runner, Norbrook, at second. There's one down. Next up is Paul Molitor, batting 329 versus righties. Ground ball squeaks past Whitaker at second. That is the third hit for the Brew Crew. We are going to guard the lines here against the cleanup hitter Jim Pachorik. Ground ball to the left of second, and they turn two, and Morris gets out of the jam. We go to the bottom of the sixth. Five nothing Detroit. Here is the very hairy Dwight Bernard. He pitched yesterday. Uh, how did he do? He gave up uh, two runs, one earned in two and a third innings. So not great. Let's hope we can hang a couple on him here. Gary Hancock leading off the inning, grounding out to first. There's one down. Next up is Reggie. Reggie walks. So Reggie's starting to show signs of life. And then Tom Brookins laces one to center field, caught on a line by Lemon. Two down for Bobby Ramos. And Ramos gets a base hit to right. How... Can I keep him out of the lineup? I have no way of doing that. Every Tiger has a hit now, except for Ricky. Here's his chance against Dwight Bernard. And he's going to bloop it into left center field. Is it going to fall in? It does. There's an RBI single for Ricky. It's 6-0 Detroit. Every Tiger has a hit. Nine hits. Nine different players. All right, let's keep it going. Keep them moving along. Sweet Lou. Lines out to left. That's going to be the third out. So we're going to the seventh inning. Now it's 6-0 Detroit. Here's Chet Lemon. Leading off for the Brew Crew. And he strikes out swigging. 6 Ks for Morris. Next up is Cecil Cooper. Cooper gets a base hit down the left field line. In fact, he's got himself a double. So Cooper 
in scoring position for Dave Sachs. We mentioned yesterday that Sachs is really only starting because uh, the regular everyday catcher Charlie Moore is injured for another three weeks, if I recall correctly. As Sachs hits a ground ball to short. There's two down. Here's Larry Heisel. Heisel strikes out on a pitch that was a foot outside. We go to the bottom of the seventh. Morris humming along. Gibby leading off the bottom of the seventh with a base hit to center field. Do we want to go for two? We're up six. I'm going to say yes. And Gibson has himself a double. So a leadoff double by Gibby. Next up is Alan Trammell. He had that three-run home run as a base hit down the right field line. Gibson, are we going to send him? Yes, we are. And Gibson is safe at home. 7 nothing, Detroit. The fourth RBI now for Trammell. Here's uh, JT. Thompson, ground ball to short. And an error by Romero. And everybody's safe. All right, I love it when we're, uh, we're pouring on the runs. Uh, so first and second, still nobody out. There's a line drive by Hancock, right at short. Everyone gets back in time, so no double play there. Okay, here we go, Reggie. This is your chance here to uh, put the game away. Oh, it strikes out. Only the first strikeout for Bernard. Second out of the inning. Next up is Tommy Brookins. Brookins, base hit to left field. Trammell scores. It's 8 nothing. Three RBIs now for Brookins. And, yeah, I think Brookins has earned the everyday uh, third base job. What is his uh, fielding percentage? It's been a while since we've seen an error, right? Sorry, this is uh, just came to me in the moment. So he's over 9. He's up to a 9-10. Uh, you know, his defensive war is bad. And his range is pretty poor as well but um, hey man I'll take uh, I'll take the offense we'll figure out a way to make up for the errors okay so here's Bobby Ramos one for two with a walk today Bernard now listed as tired Ramos bloops it to right and it's going to be caught for the third out we go to the top of the eighth inning eight nothing Detroit Morris at 83 pitches Line drive by Dick Davis, caught by Thompson for the first out here in the eighth, one down. Next up is Tim Nordbrook. He wore it his last time up here. He strikes out. So Morris intimidated him by drilling him right in the ribs. Two down, and then Morris strikes out Ed Romero. That's going to do it for Dwight Bernard. They're going to bring in the wide-jawed Bob Galasso. Uh, he is in his 11th game. He made a start last year. That's weird. Uh, 365 ERA. He's got uh, 13 walks, 18 Ks, and 24 innings pitched. Opponents only batting 200 against him. So let's see here if we can't uh, get a little eighth inning rally. Base hit by Ricky. He's two for five on the day now. Up eight runs. We're not going to run. Sweet Lou up next. One for three with a walk today. He pops it up on the infield. Play is made by uh, Dave Sachs. So one down. Here's Gibby. Gibby's got a couple hits today. And now we can add a walk to that. So we got some speed on the base pass for Trammell. Two for four. He's got that home run. Four RBIs. Ooh, Galasso gets him swinging for the second out. It's going to leave it up to JT here. Ground ball right to first. And that's going to do it. As we go to the top of the ninth, a chance here for Morris to get the uh, complete game. Perhaps a shutout. He's only at 92 pitches. He can go about 120. Oh, I just totally jinxed it. I suck. That's a home run by Paul Molitor. If you're going to give it up to someone, may as well be Molitor. He's, um, 
He is leading the American League of batting with that 371 batting average. All right, so there goes the shutout. Jack still deserves an opportunity here to get the uh, complete game as he walks Pachorek. Come on. Then he strikes out Chet Lemon. There's the first out of the inning. Next up is Cecil Cooper. He strikes out 11 Ks for Morris. That is a season high for any Tiger, I believe, in the two, you know, the year plus that we've been playing. Okay, so two down, and then Dave Sachs comes up with a base hit to center. All right, let's get Larry Heisel here. Let's end this game. Fly ball to left field. That should do it. Gibson makes the catch. Tigers win 8-1. to one. A great performance all around. Jack Morris getting his fifth win. Uh, any trade offers? No. Let's take a look at the standings. Five wins in a row. That is our season high. We're back to 500 for what it's worth. And we did gain a game back. So we're eight back here. Let's take a look at the transactions. And uh, nothing of note. Looks like Pittsburgh is going through it. Vance Law back here, and then three of the last four injuries have been uh, to a Pittsburgh player. Let's pull up the box score and get out of here. Who gets the player of the game? I guess it's going to be Trammell. The home run, the four RBIs, pretty damn good game. Uh, Morris definitely deserved consideration. If he had thrown the shutout, I think he would have been hands down. But uh, we're going to give it to, to uh, Trammell with his 12th home run. There's the four RBIs. Who would have thought he would have been, uh, would have made such a great cleanup hitter? And uh, Morris, five and three on the year now. Jaime Kokenauer falls to six and five. Paul Molitor spoils the uh, shutout with the uh, ninth inning solo shot. So that's going to do it. We're going to come back tomorrow, play game three of the uh, three game series. Until then, everyone have a great night.